Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Today, out of all this silver plated cutlery I got really cheap, I'm going to make something to hang my hat. So, let's get started. First thing to do is find some suitable planks of wood. Should have some in my collection. I could go for a random pattern, but I'm going to try and find three forks that match for my hooks. I'm just going to roughly lay them out so I can determine how long I want it to be. With the mark made, I can make the cut and the chops off. Now I need to determine how high I want the sides to be. I can mark that take it to the saw and make the cuts. I want the sides to have some nice curves to them, so I'm just going to freehand draw a nice curvy shape, then I can take it to the bandsaw. first side cut out, I can now trace it onto the second side, ready to be cut out exactly the same on the bandsaw. With both sides cut, I can clamp them together in a vise, then use the random orbital sander to get them at the same level. I need to cut a slot for the shelf to go into, so I'm just going to mark out the thickness of the wood using a pencil and then cut just with inside the lines. I'm just carefully going to cut down halfway through the thickness of the wood. Once I've cut down, I can use a chisel to remove all the waste wood. With the first slot cut, I can just copy the pattern onto the second side and repeat the process. A quick test fit, it all seems to work. Now just to mark how long the back piece needs to be. With it marked, I can just cut it on the chop saw. I need to cut out a slot for the back piece, so I'm just going to mark where it goes. and then how deep I want to cut. I'm just cutting inside the lines they marked and then down to the baseline. Mm -hmm. 
using a chisel, I can just pop out the waste material and give it all a little clean up. I'm going to speed this bit up a little. So I'm going to glue it together, clamp it, and then leave it overnight. Oh, one more thing before I leave it, just go around with some wet wipes and I'm going to wipe off any excess glue. I use wet wipes because I don't have any running water in the shop. Now it's time to take out some frustration on some cutlery, just bashing them against a flat surface will flatten them out. Unfortunately, forks don't come with holes for screws, so I'm just going to mark where I want some holes to go, then I can take it to the drill press and drill out the holes. form the fork into the shape of a hook and I put it in the vise and then bash it over a rolling pin. To give them a cleaner polish I'm just going to use some emery cloth. With the glue dry, I can now remove the clamps. Then using the random orbital sanders to clean everything up. I position where I want the forks, and then mark where the holes need to go. Using a bradle to punch out the holes. Then using some brass screws to attach the hooks. Attaching some brass keyhole plates to the back to make it easier to put on the wall later. And that's it done. Just got to screw it to the wall. My hat has a new home.